Hello, I'm James Romito, and I am running for City Council at large. I've always had a calling uh, to serve uh, my God, my country, my community, my family, and my friends. I'm ready to be active in Commerce City now, as I have three young daughters. I have spent the last seven years in Commerce City. I have grown to enjoy this city, and I'm ready to be involved, um, not just as a resident, but as, now as a City Council member. The pr proximity of DIA, uh, which is a wonderful draw for businesses that would like to move into the area, um, the fact that the city has purchased um, the Old Mile High Greyhound dog track, opportunity is that the residents of Commerce City are active in their local government. The three biggest challenges facing Commerce City um, is managing our potential growth uh, going forward, making sure that um, our services provided by the city can keep pace with the exploding population. In the last 10 years, the population more than doubled. Uh, the next uh, challenge that we have is we've purchased, the city has purchased the um, old Mile High Greyhound dog track uh, for $3.3 million. Now what do we do with that investment? And will that investment cost more than the original purchase price? And then finally, how do we keep Commerce City united now that the city is spread out um, with a somewhat natural boundary provided by the wildlife uh, refuge. A quality community for a lifetime is a city where young families wish to move to start a life, where established families move to better their life, and where seasoned residents want to move to retire. It's also a community that people wish to return to if they ever have to move away from Commerce City. My favorite aspect of Commerce City is that our future is unwritten. It's in the hands of its citizens. And the citizens have a say in where Commerce City is going, and I love that. Um, it's in the attitude of the citizens, it's in the attitude of the um, city employees, and I would love to continue that attitude that the future of Commerce City is in the hands of its residents, and I would like to be a part of that as city council member.